refuge or the radical function of community within the politics of state. The intimate community is inherently free or liberating in function, whereas the state, as a parent-like power, is a binding or fixed condition. Free men and women must create a refuge or human sanctuary for their growth, and this is not done in personal isolation, but only in intimate cultural cooperation. The function of community is to be a humorous refuge, a servant of higher adaptation, a refuge from the humorless and grounding demands of the binding politics of the parental state. The true and right function of the representative state is to ensure the possibility and also the necessity of human community by acting as a focus for the representation of common needs, legal, protective, broadly economic and social, international and so forth, and by preserving restraints upon its own actions, so that the fundamental, necessary and humanising obligations of communities constantly fall back on communities themselves. The failure of human community is demonstrated when the state becomes the target of childish demands and the agent of grand solutions that should be the responsibility of human beings in their cultural and social intimacy. The community and the state should be a dynamic play in which the community is the core value and principle of all basic solutions. The state should, by law and common agreement, yield all exercise and sovereignty over the intimate affairs of communities, and all communities should be autonomous or self-regulating, except to the degree that the actions of any community actually serve to undermine or prevent the very existence of community in the general case. The state, as the limited representative of all communities or all individuals, insofar as individuals submit or adapt themselves to existence in human community, may guarantee or serve the rights and general obligations of individuals and communities. But the community, which is a cooperative, free, and responsible association of individuals within the state must guarantee or serve the intimate, essential and higher evolutionary process of man. The state, independent of a society of cooperative communities, is a tyrant. The community, without a benign, true and free state to protect its rights, is in free, is in fear and cannot fully release attention toward the higher realisation of human life.